What's going on everyone? It's Will, and this is the one you've been waiting for. It's Ultimates Number 1 by Al Ewing, Kenneth Rockefeller, and Dan Brown. So, as our story opens up, we're introduced to a new evolution of our new plot element for the series, the ISO-8, and if you're familiar with Spider-Man Unlimited, you uh, might know this name. We are introduced to Blue Marvel, aka Adam Brashear, as him and Captain Marvel, aka Carol Danvers, are on a mission through space. They wind up touching base with good old King T'Challa, the Black Panther, in our new post-secret wars Triskillian, as Black Panther is having a nice little conversation with the Secretary General about what it is that they, that the Ultimates do. And from there, uh, Black Panther actually gets in contact with Monica Rambeau, the Spectrum, and America Chavez, Miss America, as they engage a new hostile alien group on another planet. And basically, they start the fight, but I'm sure those aliens aren't going to come out too hot from it. So once all the introduction to full, we go back to uh, Captain Marvel and Blue Marvel, you know, the Marvels, as a new enemy known as the Punishers attack their ship, which are known to be just as lethal and hard to kill as Frank Castle is. And Captain Marvel can, in this new run, apparently enter binary state as she absorbs a lot of energy from Blue Marvel and just knocks him out. And they, at the end of the story, you get engaged with someone from the front cover they are there not to fight, but to apparently solve a problem for Galactus, the world eater. This issue is, this is something else. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's very exciting to finally read it. The art is incredible. The story is so fluid as it goes from character to character. It kind of reminds me of the Avengers films. It reads a lot like a movie. And the, I feel like the characters are well introduced and no one can complain about diversity. There's such a well diverse team across the board made up of such incredibly talented superheroes. So they really are the ultimate team for cosmic ultimate jobs. They do the best they can because they are the best. And my only real gripe with the series is, or not the series, the first issue, I'm sorry, is that it's too short. It, it leaves you wanting more. It's only, sadly, it's only 17 pages. But it's such a good start, and hopefully if they keep up this great art and great story writing, then we're in for a great series. I got I give it a great 9.5 out of 10. It's going to leave you wanting so much more. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to Hybrid Network, and I will see you guys later.